How can an economy like Cyprus, which is in a currency union, have capital controls? This is something that we're all struggling with, the, even the concept of it. Well, it, precisely. I mean, they, it, capital controls in a currency union, they're, they're just not compatible. It's, it's like you're saying, it's not, we're, I'm not in a currency union, I have a different currency from yours, and I'm not letting it leave the country. But unfortunately, we have to do it. So I think the only way that uh, it, would, it could be implemented and not cause big problems at the border is not to allow people to withdraw very big sums of money uh, at once, you know, have a daily limit on how much money people can withdraw because the bank ran out of liquidity completely. What can the Cypriot government do to prevent a run on Thursday? Well, of course, the main thing that it has to do is to uh, persuade people that um, we are not in a situation of Iran because the deal that was done is, is, is a permanent deal. No one expects a second memorandum and running out of money, the banks running out of money. Uh, the problem, though, is that the banks have now been closed for uh, 10 days. It will be two weeks by the time they open. Uh, there has been a cash shortage in the country, and, and there have been no banking business, no bank transfers. And there will be a lot of activity when banks open. And, and we've reached a situation where people are very, are very nervous. So something very small could trigger a uh, run on the banks in the sense that I'd rather hold my money in cash than trust it with a bank if I know some troika from somewhere might come and take a big part of it. Once it brings stability, there is the small matter of the actual economy. What happens then? Well, you're calling it small, small but that's the big subject of the, uh, the big matter of the actual economy because what we're uh, seeing now is a lot of money being taken away from savings accounts and passed on to the European Central Bank. Uh, we are seeing a lot of businesses running out of cash because of, of what happened. All activity uh, will stop. Even in, in the university that I'm now at, the, uni at the University of Cyprus, uh, all activity will stop because all the reserve the, was with Lyke Bank and it would be frozen in there for five years. Uh, then a lot of people will have to be dismissed. Unemployment will shoot up. I wouldn't be surprised to see it going up to Greek or Spanish standards. And, and that's the big concern because once uh, unemployment goes up there and once activity uh, stops, however much confidence you have, they don't revive very easily, as we've seen uh, from other countries. Is there anything that the European authorities can do? They repeatedly speculated about a Marshall Plan for Greece. Cyprus is such a small economy. A Marshall Plan for Cyprus would not cost a lot, would it? Shouldn't they be doing something to try and stabilize the real economy? I think they should, and they hinted that they would be doing something, but they hinted mainly at um, social transfers. But social transfers are important, of course, you know, to have a safety net for the people who lost uh, so much money and people who lose their jobs. But it's such a small economy, uh, as you say, and, and there are many infrastructure projects you could be doing the uh, tourist sector is doing well. There are things that need to be done in the tourist sector, and, and those will revive some construction activity, which is the one that will be affected most by what we're seeing. And, and I really do think that the European Union should look at the structural funds and give a tiny bit of them to Cyprus, which would be a big amount of money. How much would do it? Well, it, it, it's very difficult to come up with it now. I'm sure I could calculate it if I had uh, the, the time. But the, the much less than what was needed to recapitalize the banks. Even one billion will get us going you know, in terms of uh, projects.